These are the butterflies that he closed today and yesterday. I was gone at appointments almost all day today, so I did not get around to releasing them. Hopefully tomorrow the weather will be good enough to set them free. This one looks like a male. I can tell by the thickening in that vein. I'm sure when he opens his wings you can see the black dots on them. Of course now he's not opening his wings. This one is a male down here. He has the dots on his wings. This one is also a male. I'm gonna grab this one to look at this one. This one is a male. He has that dot on his wing. I can't exactly point to it because I have my phone in one hand and the butterfly in the other, but you can kind of see that there is a thickening right in there. And when he opens his wings, that is where that black dot will be on the other side of his wings. Um, males also have claspers on the tips of their abdomen. He's like spazzing, so you can't really see them too well. There, now you can kind of see the claspers on the tip of his abdomen. So I'm gonna set him free because he's an angry little butterfly. He does not want to be held. We have one down here trying to escape. This is also another handsome male. This is a nice view of his face. I just flew over here. And there he is. And then we do have a female. Let me see which one she is. This is a male. He has that dot. Let's try this one. This one is also a male. Maybe we don't have a female. Um, let's see. That one is a male. That one's a male, that one's a male. This one looks like a female. <laughs> she just landed in my hand. Yes, this one is a female. She does not have the dot on her wings. She's just sitting here calmly in the palm of my hand. Now these guys were all raised from eggs that I found outside on milkweed. So they are used to the sound of my voice. They, you know, I didn't handle them a lot. I try not to pick them up. Um, I try to use a leaf to transport them from place to place when they're caterpillars. That way there's less risk of them getting poisoned by say a chemical or a lotion or something like that that was on my skin 
but she literally flew and landed in my hand. You can see her proboscis is curled right up there on the front of her face. If we look in here, we can see the hair on her back. She's got beautiful coloring. I wanted to show you her abdomen, but I can't pick her up with my other hand at the moment. Let me try to pause this. Okay. So you can see the end of her abdomen does not have those pointy claspers. Instead, there's a little notch kind of cut out of it. She's not happy about being picked up. It is safe to pick up a butterfly by where its wings meet the body, as long as the wings aren't able to flap all around. They won't injure themselves. You will not take away this butterfly's ability to fly because butterflies, I was just putting her back, butterflies have scales on their wings. They have tons and tons of tiny scales. All right, I am going to zip up this enclosure, yikes, before anybody gets out. Hold on a minute. Okay. Gosh, I'm not sure why this is so blurry. There we go. That's better. So this is looking in at them from the top of the enclosure. They probably don't understand why it's suddenly light out again. And that's because they've been in a dark room until I came in and turned the light on a little while ago. There are other chrysalises in this enclosure. This was the enclosure that was previously known as the Littles. Um, that's why it says Preve Littles. So I was calling this enclosure the Littles enclosure. There are still other chrysalises. Um, I didn't see any darkened ones. Oh, there is one darkened one right down in here. So that one will probably it close tomorrow. And then there's still five, six green ones, I think. So the green coloring is actually the color of the, the insides because the chrysalis itself, the outer skin is clear, which you can see from the clear, um, there we go. You can see from the clear empty chrysalis right here that the skin of the chrysalis is actually clear. So the green that you see in these is actually the insides of the developing butterfly within. And then in the very last day, like the last 12 to 24 hours before they come out of their chrysalis, their colors start developing. So that's why sometimes you can see the black and the white and the orange shining through. All right, well, I'm gonna put this enclosure back and hopefully I'll be able to release these guys tomorrow.